on Dr. Beer from here to Dr. Moore. We're just getting started on the right shoulder, We're looking at from the back to the front. Gotcha. Everything that you see is magnified 30 or 40 times on the screen. Hold the camera, please. And what we're looking at right now is the biceps tendon on the screen. Um, this is the biceps tendon here. You're laying on your side, so your arm is up in the air. If we were actually uh, doing this and you were standing in front of us, it would look like this. Because that would be your arm coming off to the right. And that would be the biceps in the front. But we do this operation in the lateral position. You have what we call a type 2 slap lesion proclis. You have what we call a type 2 slap lesion, which is where this is detached. You can see that it's torn. Okay. And the issue here is going to be freeing up the cartilage so that we can get this to heal back to the bone. Okay, so that's not so good there. That's an injury that we're going to have to fix for you. And that's something we expected. As we externally rotate your arm, you can see how that's unstable. You can see how that's unstable and, and peels back. We call that kind of a posterior peel back. And that's even without taking you out of traction. So we're going to try and stabilize that there. Now, coming off of this, we've got the middle of the humeral ligament right here, and it's attached right into the base of the biceps. A little bit of labrum here, but this is basically what we used to call a Buford complex, and that's one of the issues that we'll be able to stabilize by placing an anchor in right about here. We'll stabilize this middle of the humeral ligament. And you can see how this is not stable because the whole biceps anchor is unstable. So, a um, little bit more anatomy. This is the subscap tendon here. If I hold down on the middle of the humeral ligament, you can see the subscap going up to the up to the right. Your shoulder was very unstable in the posterior direction, which is what we uh, felt was happening in the office as well. This is the anterior band of the inferior glenohumeral humeral ligament right here. This is little fold right here. That's the anterior band of the IGL. The labrum here is fine in the front, but as you look towards the back, I bet we're going to see something that's not normal, and, and sure enough, this posterior labrum is torn, and part of the problem here. Okay, so you see there's not really much of a posterior band of the IGL. So we're going to work to fix this here in just a minute. Now we're looking from the front to the back. We've got our great cannula in there. I'm going to slip around the biceps like that. And so now we have to a second. I'm just going to bring this here. Now we have a pretty good look at this posterior labral injury. We'll take our throw, or we call our crochet hook, just to give you an idea of the size the injury. So it's certainly torn. We're going to do our best to fix all of this damage for you. Okay, so now we have a shaver coming in.
to be ideal runs right along here. And it's just not a very well defined band right now. I'd like it to look more like that. Bring the labor up. You can see how that band gets developed. And that's what we need that ligament to look like. We're going to work on this just enough to create a healing response. And now we're going to take our spinal wheel and check our angle to place the suture anchor in. Second anchor down, you can see the position here. We're now going to take our suture hook and our grasper and get ready to make another stitch. Okay, 
so we've tied all four sutures here. You can see how right at the tip of this, we've got a much more defined posterior band. We've significantly decreased the capsular volume. And that looks a lot better to me. Hopefully that'll provide the stability you need. As we look down the front, the anterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament, that looks reasonable. I don't think I'm going to do anything to that. But you still have this slap lesion to worry about. So we're going to go off on the video and have a look from the back to the front. Looking from the back to the front, and you can see we've still got this issue here with the biceps anchor region, what we call a type, what we call a type 2 slap. And so we're going to go ahead and lock down this very candle on the shaver. trying to do here is see this bone, how the bone is exposed underneath the cartilage. That's what we're trying to do here. I'm going to extend this a little bit farther posterior here. All with the design of creating a nice broad base area for healing. Okay, I think we just saw it there. Now the next step is to go ahead and place the suture anchor down. In order to do that, we need our guide and we need our drill bit. Thank you. 
you can see that holding it down. That's starting to look better. Just as a quick check, you can look down the back of the shoulder and you can see how much tighter that is compared to when we started. So I'm very happy with the work that we've been able to do back there. Now we're going we're gonna to finish the job here in the front. So we've got the second suture tied. A couple things to note. You can see how we don't put anything down to reattach this middle bony humeral ligament because that's basically normal anatomy and we don't want to over tighten the shoulder. And we know that if we were to repair this as if it was a bank heart that that would cause a lot of shoulder stiffness. So we're purposely not doing that. That's a tactical error in my opinion. Um, we do have a nice secure fixation on the biceps. Let me slow down. There it is there. As we rotate the shoulder, that's not going anywhere now. As we rotate, you can see that's rock solid. Very happy with the way that looks, okay? So we're going to finish up here and get you back to the recovery room shortly. It's been about an hour, uh, hour and five minutes, and um, this ought to do the trick. The rotator cuff, by the way, at the top of the screen there looks just great, so no signs of any problems with the cuff. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.